Now, in this picture, you are observing there are various angles in the figure. So, how you solve it? Always remember that which part you are going to solve. In this case, first I am going to see very carefully. In this case, you can give the name AB is an arc. From this arc AB, we have an angle C and D. So, from the same arc, on the same segment, we have angle A, C, A, C, B, which is equals to 10 degree. Clear? Then again we have angle A, D, B, which is equals to U. It's your U. So, as we know from the theorem that angle made by arc, same arc, of a circle to the same segment on any circumference. May on any circumference means what? Any, so not any, any place on the circumference. So from A, C, B, this is, a, this is an angle on circumference. And angle A, B, B, this is also an angle on circumference. Both, in this case, both angles having common arc A, B. So, theorem says that these two angles must be equal to each other. So, what is by using that theorem, what is the value of what is the value of u? u equals to 10 degree. Now, hope this one is clear. Now, come to the lowest part. C. In this case, C and D is the other R. Clear? And from C, A, C, A, D is the angle W and C, B, D is angle 30 degree. From this arc, we have a two different different angle on a circumference of the circle having common arc C, D. It means what? These two angles are equal to each other, W equals to 30 degree. All of you must know all the properties discussed in the at the starting of the videos. Then you can solve the, not starting of the video, this uh, you read and remember all the properties of the angles on circle discussed in last video. So in this case, W equals to 30 degree, you have the your answer. Move to the next question. Now we have to use bigger circle and I simply explain the concept. There is a center C and we have a diameter, you can say PQ, clear? Question says that angle made by this arc PQ, this arc PQ on the circumference of circle is this one, clear? And this angle, and again we have another line drawing this part. We have angle, this one is 35 degree and this one is your C. So what is the value of C? Very easy. As we know, from this, though this PQ chord passes through the center of the circle, so it's a diameter and if it's a diameter, means what? This is your, this is your semicircle. Suppose the name A. And if it is semicircle, so angle made on circumference equals to 90 degrees. So angle PAQ equals to 90 degree. Angles are sub semi uh, angles on circumference at a semicircle. So what is the value of this? 35 plus C equals to 90 degree. And C equals to 90 minus 35. Fifty-five degree. Clear? Now move to the next question. We have a circle and again we have a diameter. We have here we have circle C or uh, center C or oh, center two center O. Center O 
Now there are some angles. First this one and second this one. We have some values. This angle is equals to 20 degree. This is the value of x. This is the value of y. Now we I have discussed everywhere how to write the steps, how, how to write the solution with reasons in some last chapters. In this case, I am giving only the concept. So, how you find? Okay, give the name, it's a P Q. Clear? Hope the uh, figure is visible to you. Yes. Uh, you have to improve your brightness. Clear? And suppose it's a A and it's a B. Now see the triangle P B Q. This angle is equal to 90 degree. So from this we can easily find out the value of Y. This in triangle P Q A 90 degree. This value is also 20 degree. Why? Because it is due to the they are vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles so these angles are equal 20 20 so again we can easily find out the value of this angle x so let's start i am solving one part you can solve the remaining one in triangle this side in triangle a p q angle a plus angle sorry not A P Q, it's a A P given in it's a R. Not angle A P Q, angle R. Not in angle A P R, the value of angle A plus angle P, this value plus angle R, this value equals to 180 degree by using angles and property. Angle A we have 90 degree, angle P we have X, angle R we have 20 degree, here we have 180 degree, so what is the value of this one, 90, 20, 11, X, 180 minus 110, it's a 70 degree. Similarly come to this side, same process we use in triangle P, Q, R. Angle B plus angle R plus angle Q equals to 180. Hope this one is visible to you. It's not go beyond the screen. Yes, it's good. Now we can write down over here. Angle B is 90 degree. Angle R is 20 degree. And this is your Y. Why I am at me directly 70 degree. Why? Because they both are same. Huh? So hope this one is clear to you. See this question very carefully. Here we have a center O. Clear. If we observe the very first thing, what comes in your mind that A, B, and this ang angle is given. If you see if we see very carefully, there is some A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is in cyclic quadrilateral, number one. Then, if we see this point D, and this is your point E, D, E is your diameter, means what? This is your semicircle, this is your semicircle. Clear? Now hope this thing one is clear. One by one we are going to solve this one. First, see this part. A, B, C, D. Though A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic 
quadrilateral sorry for this interruption cyclic quadrilateral clear therefore we can say that this angle d a b equals to angle b c d why because they are opposite to each other the value of d a b is a and that of b c is 104 degree so we can easily say angle a equals to 40 degree now come to this part as we know this is your semicircle this is your semicircle so angle d a b e is angle on circumference made by the semicircle it means what angle d a e equals to 90 degree so we can easily write down angle d a e equals to 180 degree right no it's not right it's a 90 degree always remember because 180 degree is a straight line and as also know that a plus b equals to 90 degree we know the value of a it's 104 degree no it's not so where is the mistake all of you must find process is same process is perfect one you will find out the value where i make a mistake in this question okay let me know if you observe very carefully we make some mistakes over here this statement this is a very common mistakes made by students that's why you use this one d a b not equals to b c d but these two are supplement to each other these two are supplement to each other supplement means what they are some their sum are must be equals to 180 degree so let me change the statement of this part angle d a b plus angle b c d equals to 180 degree now d a b is your a plus b c d 104 it's a 180 now a equals to 180 minus 104 it's a 76 degree now it's clear so come to this side it's a 76 plus b equals to 90 degree b equals to 90 minus 76 it's 14 degree hope this is clear to you check the answer from your answer sheets and we are going to discuss today's last question now this is your last question of this video and also the last question of this exercise I problems I discussed with you now let's start what we are observing there is a there is a cyclic quadrilateral there is an exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral an angle made on circle and one chord and there is some unknown angles angle a b and c as you are observing in front of your figure we have to find out the value of a b c very easy first we see this is the exterior angle of this cyclic quadrilateral. You have to give the name. It's a, a, B, C, and D. This is exterior angle E. Now in B, C, E is an exterior angle of quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Therefore, B, C, E equals to B A D as we discussed in property means what we can easily write down B C 
E equals to angle B A D and what is the value of B C E? It is a 50 degree equals to B A D its value is A. Now this one is clear to you and again this is angle on circumference this is angle and at center of the circle means this angle is double than this angle so we can easily say that b is 2a and it's a 100 degree if you write down the statement and if this one is 100 degree so this is c as we know this is your radius so radius must be equal this must be c so in triangle this triangle OBD B plus 2C equals to 180 degree. We know the value of B, it's a hundred plus 2C equals to 180 degree. 2C equals to 180 minus 100. C equals to 80 upon 2. It's a 40 degree. Hope all these things are clear to you. Try to solve all the questions given in your 24 page size and need not to forget to give the error made by me and I not rectify it that that one. That's all for today. Thank you.